Let me be the first to congratulate you on a fine job destroying the biotoxins at Los Muertos. We have identified the woman who escaped in the helicopter as Sofia Ivanescu, a brilliant software engineer whose father is Nobel Prize winner Dr. Nicholas Ivanescu, shown here with his daughter in 1988. An outspoken critic of Ugaria's previous regime, Ivanescu became a political prisoner in 1995 and is presumed dead. Your recovery of surveillance videotape from Los Muertos supports our belief that Sofia went to work for Simon Algo with the intention of avenging her father's death. There is little doubt at this point that Sofia Ivanescu is the architect of the technology used to steal the critical data from Los Muertos. It's also clear she was able to penetrate the IMF database, which led to your exposure at the Information Ministry. According to our sources, Sofia has returned to Ugaria. You must return as well, Ethan. Make contact with her and take her out of the country, alive. She is without question the key to stopping Simon Algo's deadly weapons research. She's headed for the secure checkpoint. I'm right behind her. Security's gonna get even tighter now, Ethan. Keep out of sight or you'll spook Sophia and lose her. I'd launch the wasp before she gets any further. That way you can keep her in sight and stay invisible. All right, first things first, <clears throat> we've got a new weapon called the Wasp. But we need to drink out a few guys here real quick. Gonna switch to the wasp. Really love the way that this wasp looks. Very cool. And we just need to get close to her. Identity confirmed, Ethan. Subject is, in fact, Sophia Ivanescu. Hold on, I'm getting a transmission from her cell phone. Relaying now. Stand by. I will be arriving at the Information Ministry shortly. And tell Mr. Berku to loosen up this intolerable security. Lost, Ethan. But at least we know where she's headed. Stay with her. some ID, madame. Boris, how many times have we done this? A thousand, two thousand? I'm sorry, Sophia. I must. I have little children. Please, I need this job. Thank you, Sophia. You're welcome. You will have to pass through another checkpoint before you enter the ministry. What? Since when? Mr. Berkut's orders. There is more security now than ever.
Nice and stealth-like. That camera is officially blind. Alright, this part is really, really tough. There's like uh, one, two, three, four guards here. And you have to do everything perfectly. You can make yourself just get out enough to where you can take him out, but you gotta wait until she has passed him. Then you wanna R switch over to here. There you go, we take that out. Something is not right. That camera sees no more, Ethan. Follow her through the gate and into the building, Ethan. You'll need to stay close to overhear that meeting. You have to get that little script to happen. You have to be this close in order to do it. Or else it'll fail the mission, so that's why we did what we did as quickly as possible. So we're just waiting for this guy to come back right here. Then his buddy's gonna come up. And do the same thing with him. There you go. That's a lot tougher than you think. But we did it. Good evening, Madame Ivanescu. Welcome home. I don't recognize you. Just transferred from Rovinia, in the south. Your bag, please? It's just my computer. Yes, I know. That is why you must leave it here with me. I'm afraid that is out of the question. I'm afraid not, Madame. I have specific instructions prohibiting you from entering with any computer equipment. May I pass now? You may. I'm guessing there's some pretty tasty megabytes on that laptop, Ethan. What do you say we put a bug on it? That way we can keep track of what Ms. Ivan Eskew is up to. You must be a mind reader, Luther. I was thinking the exact same thing. Just watch your back. This is a secure area. You get caught, they'll lock down the whole damn yard. Alright, first things first. Take him over here. What is going on here? This gate should not be open. Get your back up against the wall when it's like this. So remember, you can get yourself inside cameras, but you just need to be quick to get yourself out of the cameras. So... Like say in this instance you can be seen right there, but it's just for a split second and it will not ruin anything. <clears throat> Always know the type of mechanics that 
whatever game you're playing has makes it better for you to judge. <laughs> it just it looked like it missed him there. That was really weird. But we were, we're good. here as there's a guard that kind of comes through this area okay loser I've placed a tracker on the laptop Great. You're going to have to hurry, though, if we want to see what she's up to. What's her location? She's entering the building across the square. It's the security headquarters for the Yugarian Information Ministry. Copy that. Good. Now look for a balcony directly across the street. Make your way on up there. You should be able to pick her up by using your binocs. Got it. Remember, you can take these guys out, but that's not what we're trying to do. We like to let some people go. That's what this channel is more known for. You better hurry if you're going to get in position, Ethan. Go, man. Make sure you're back far enough to where he doesn't see you, the guy down there. Those people were innocent civilians. Scientists, security personnel. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you created Ice Worm. I did not agree to cold-blooded murder. Unfortunately, Young Ho was a very unstable individual. What he ordered his men to do, I cannot defend. He told me Algo gave the order. As I said, he was a very unstable individual. I want to speak to Algo myself. President Algo is a very busy man, madam. He will speak to you at his convenience. Luther, this guy, Berkut, he's the one who shot our informant the last time we were here. He's also the head of the Yugarian Secret Service. You better get inside the Ministry and pick up his trail. And whatever you do, don't lay a glove on him. We need to find out what his plans are. Meantime, I'll keep track of Sophia using the bug you planted on her computer. in the ministry building, Luther. Good. Just be extra vigilant in there, Ethan. The place is crawling with security. 
Let's try hacking the Ministry's computer system. See if it tells us any more about our friend, Mr. Burkut. All right, so this section could be very, very tough because we don't have enough. And don't worry about that if it sees you a little bit there. We don't have enough to take out all of the cameras. We only have two shots left. So it's going to make this really, really tough. Sees no more, Ethan. We're going to have to use, we have to pay for get some now? people's attentions, okay. things like that. Potato chips. Where's the burst? You're going to see that this section is going to be really, really tough with the lack of things that we have to do certain things with. You'll see what I mean here. This could be seen just slightly and then move slightly and then move and you should be okay. The girl has become a problem. We need to take control of Ice Worm. We must have the access codes. Give me every available technician. We will work around the clock. But sir, that could take months, years. We don't have years. We need to break the code and we must do it now. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Ethan, have you located the Ministry's computer network? I'm going to check Burkut's computer first, to see how I can access the rest of the system. Searching Burkut's computer. Got several references here to a place called Sansara Prison. Looks like deliveries of some kind. Sansara? You've heard of it? It's a notorious hellhole off the North African coast. Let me see what else I can dig up on it. Meantime, you need to get to that supercomputer Burkut mentioned. Already found a code to the mainframe door. All right, so this next section is really, really, really tough. First, there's going to be a guy to the right. Go ahead and grab him, take him back Ooh. into the room. And then, because, like I said, you know, you only, you only go in every mission with a certain amount of gadgets to use to, say, take out the cameras and things like that. So you got to be smart with what you do, which is why you haven't seen me take any of these cameras out because we just don't have enough to take them all out. So because of that, we're going to have to do things a little different. You absolutely 100% need to take out all three of these guys. Uh, I messed up my audio and I forgot to record my mic portion, so this is after the fact, but I just wanted to explain. So just do the method of going into these little sections here until you get all the way up to where we're going to go. We're going to take all three of these guys out, but we're, uh, you've got to hide their bodies because there's other guards that are going to come through here after you get through this section, and you need to make sure that their bodies are hidden or else it could really, really uh, screw you over. So you got to be careful here. Once this guy moves, you're going to creep out just a little bit, but don't go too far because you don't want the guy who's coming back in your direction, as you're seeing here slightly. He can, the enemies can see you better than they can in Splinter Cell, so you have to be very careful. We're going to move around this side, and that's how we're going to sneak up behind this other guy. There's, you could also wait until that one guy moved out of the way and then just drag him back as well. There's multiple ways you can do this, but this one was the safest. Wait for him to come. As soon as he does, then you're able to go ahead, grab him so you can actually move a little quicker as opposed to knocking him out already. And then just put his body in here. You don't need to do it. You don't need to do what I'm doing right here. Just set it down anywhere because what you're going to need to do is take him back to one of those sections that is covered with shadow. I wanted to try to do this without taking these guys out, but 
you really can't because you, for one, you have to take this guy right here out because you just can't open the door without taking him out. And because of that, you've got to come through this room again and there's other guards that are coming through as well. So it's not like I can leave this body just hanging on the floor right here because you're going to literally in just a minute see two people come through. So we might as well go ahead and take this guy out as well. And then we're going to take all three of their bodies and put them over in the section that has the shadow. And then once you do that, make sure they're fitted in there correctly. Then you're good to go. Then we can move on to the next section. Alright, so now that we're here, essentially, we just need to interact with this. Stay away from the bottom floor on the right side, as you'll see once you use your night vision that there's lasers around, so you gotta use this here to climb up, and then climb up on the box ahead, and then use your torch to uh, get rid of those. And then you're gonna need to use your micro rope to pretty much do a Mission Impossible, you know, the rope thing that he gets up and he's hanging down vertically or horizontal, whatever. And, um, yeah, uh, the, the next section is, is pretty simpler. I mean, there's going to be a little cutscene that plays. Just follow it. You'll be fine. And then we want to push ourselves to the edge so we can knock out the last section of lasers. And then we can hack the computer and then get out of the room. If you look here, Colonel Berkut, I will show you what we are up against. Thus far, we have been unable to break the initial layer of encryption. When Algo learns of this, he will not be a happy man. And when Algo's not happy, I am not happy. Please, Colonel, the men are doing all they can. This is the most sophisticated code they have ever seen. You don't think I know that? All right. Forget the hacking. Get the girl and take her to the basement. If we can't steal the codes, we will get them the old-fashioned way. Very well, sir. It will be done. Wait. There's one more thing. The men you send must not look like our people. They must dress like civilians. Speak Russian, perhaps, but not Hungarian. As if they are Russian mob. Whatever you wish, Colonel Berkut. Now, listen to me carefully. They may coerce. They may frighten her. But if they harm one hair on that pretty little head of hers, they will not be treated with the same compassion. And neither will you. Sophia must remain undamaged, so that Algo can continue to receive the assistance of her father. Understood? Yes, sir. Good. 
Now go get those codes. Did you get that, Luther? I thought her father was dead. Sure didn't sound like that to me. We need to get to her before they do. Okay. Finish hacking the computer, then we'll grab her. She's leaving the area as we speak. You better move, Ethan. So you gotta do this like little maneuver here. Alright, we're still moving through here. It's gotta be patient. There we go. Whew. A lot tougher than you think. I don't have her, Luther. You'll have to use a wasp to determine her location. But be careful, Ethan. Someone's on her tail. Looks like two men, maybe more. Use the taser on the wasp to take them out one at a time. And remember, you'll have to launch a new wasp for each. So don't miss. Oh, ye of little faith. All right, here we go.
So far, so good. Keep it up. <clears throat> Still in range. Ethan, you're gonna have to use your sniper pistol. They spotted her. All right, sniper pistol. Zoom in like a regular gun um, and press the R1 button to shoot. This is really hard to use because you have to use the right thumbstick to do it with and I would much rather use the left thumbstick in this situation so for me it's very weird hard for me with this controller to aim a headshot honestly Sophia Ivanescu, my name is Ethan. Damn it, Luther, I lost her. Thank you. 
really awkward doing this with my left thumb controlling this with the right thumbstick. <laughs> Sophia, just hold on. There we go, we got it. Who are you? Ethan Hunt. I've been hired to escort you from Ugaria. Hired by whom? That's not important. What is important is that we get you out of here now. Why should I trust you? You'd rather take your chances with Verkut? Those men who've been trying to kidnap you. Those are his people, Sophia. I think your father may be alive. My father? But if we don't make a move, it may be you who ends up dead. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. You have my word on that. It's been a long time since anyone's made me such a promise. Are you sure you can live up to it? I always keep my promises. 